Parker Gold usually eats a healthier lunch than this. Not too much sodium in there, if you think. I mean, my parents are all health nuts, so they're all trying to keep it. So it's a homemade lunch. Gold admits to eating a fair share of salty foods. Whenever I get gas, I get a pack of jerky, and then road trips is, is chips and all the time, and then eating um, chips and popcorn whenever I watch a movie. Whenever I don't want to make a food, I get something that's from the store, so it's like chips or beef jerky or anything like that. You can learn certain habits in college, and if you don't modify those habits, and then later in life you develop these conditions, like you become obese, and you have other cardiovascular risk factors like smoking and high cholesterol, diabetes, etc. Um, or specifically if you develop high blood pressure, then sodium reduction, sodium restriction becomes paramount. So Gold was surprised when he learned how much sodium was in his bought lunch. These noodles alone had 23 milligrams of sodium. And the chips? 540 milligrams. Does it seem like a lot? For these chips, yeah, I figured that they'd be a little bit more healthier. I don't really look at the back of them. It's recommended Canadians don't exceed 2,300 milligrams of sodium a day, but unfortunately, most Canadians are exceeding that. 3,400 milligrams of sodium are being consumed by Canadians, and that puts Canadians at risk for chronic diseases, according to Padwell. 60% of the population is obese, one-fifth have high blood pressure, uh, one-quarter have something called metabolic syndrome, you know, seven or eight percent have type 2 diabetes. This is affecting most of society now. And so I think in that regard, if people can learn the right way to eat uh, early, then it becomes much easier uh, later in life. When it comes to food, economics is often the winner. I would imagine that it's easier and economically more viable to uh, produce those types of foods and and sell them and you know consumers will buy them because you know they can sit on the shelf for months years before they need to be consumed I mean like it is cheaper students can't really go to the market all the time and buy all the expensive healthy foods and then get the time to make the food or or whatever they need to do to make it Padwell wants students to be aware of their health risks when it comes to sodium many of them for example may have a strong family history of high blood pressure and you know for those individuals, uh, it's important to be aware of your parameters, blood pressure and blood sugar and other things. And, um, you know, if you are, all, are, are even a, a little at risk, then sodium reduction, avoiding these types of foods and eating healthier um, is very important. Tammy Karachik, Shaw TV, Capital Region.